How do you feel that technology has maybe changed sign language or your community? Oh, yeah. I've noticed a lot of changes in that. Uh, for example, now for cell phones, of course, they've gotten so much better. So much better. Um, we can call each other on FaceTime or whatever. Uh, before, I remember, you know, what, 2005, 2006, it was so blurry and grainy. Trying to make a call was just terrible. Today, oh, so smooth. And now, of course, for voicemail, you know, if people call and leave me a voicemail, I can just read it, which is so important, you know, for doctor's appointments and just really many places that call leave messages. So it's cool that I don't have to miss those things now. That's wonderful. Um, do you think that AI will have an impact on the community or sign language? How do you feel about that? Is there discussion yeah. about that in your community? We haven't really discussed it much, but I do want to discuss it more with the program that I'm involved in for deaf mentoring. Um, and that's at the Holly Institute. Uh, so I definitely want to get into that with them. Um, and maybe we can maybe use AI because we have a lot of hearing parents who have deaf students or deaf children. And I've seen AI, how do I explain this? Like they're trying to copy and take that in and then use it for speaking. And it's not really successful yet. Like it's just, it's definitely in its baby steps, but I think it might be a good benefit later on. Um, but one of the things that I envision is maybe in the future for like big conferences, maybe, you know, you don't have to pull three, four, five interpreters, you know, to be there for that. You can just have like live translation or, you know, speech to text or something for that, that'd be cool. Yeah. Do you think that if they did improve that AI, that AI interpreter, do you feel that will um, improve your services when you need an interpreter? Yeah. Will you trust it, do you think? Uh, kind of half and half. Um, I would say, you know, because growing up, I've been using interpreters my whole life. And if they suddenly change to using just AI interpreters, I'd feel kind of not real confident in that yet. But who knows in the future, you know, 30, 40 years from now, maybe, then maybe I'd accept it, you know. But at the same time, I'm a little, uh, like, I think it would be cool to use it. Because right now, I mean, we have so many deaf people who use Facebook as their uh, platform, just trying to sell um, like their clothes online, their jewelry online, you know, the things that their trade, the things that they make. Um, and that's not, you know, just kind of to do mainstreaming. And that, but that's not really talking to people. Um, I think it would be really cool if we had like AI interpreter in that scenario so when hearing people are watching maybe i don't know that would be cool because then they can use their their first language mm -hmm. to um you know express themselves and then the hearing people would have an interpreter so that they understood yeah. and maybe will want to buy things from them right use their mm -hmm. services it would be easier so yeah that would be wonderful um yeah and especially with every TikTok being so popular right now. I mean, my kids use TikTok. Hey, look, look, look. I'm like, wow. You know, I don't think I've seen any deaf people use TikTok yet for like performances or anything, but that would be really cool. I can just imagine that in the future. How do you, how do you feel about the people on TikTok who are trying to teach sign language or, mm -hmm. You know, there's this big discussion about yeah. hearing people signing songs. How how do you feel about that? I've seen a few who are good, um, but I'm not going to bash, you know, those no. people. But I know there are some people who are signing. Oh, it's so awful. It's terrible. There's so many mistakes. And it's embarrassing because um, I'm thinking, okay, hearing people think that that is right. And I feel bad, too, for those who are learning sign that way because they're, they're finally seeing somebody there, and then you finally meet somebody and you're trying to sign to them and it's wrong. Yeah, so that one, I don't know. Like my friends and I talk about that and how some of them are just so awful and, you know, it's just it's a terrible kind of thing. 
if the person signs they're skilled and they're good, but but they're hearing, do you feel that it's okay that they, and this is just your opinion, you know, your opinion, do you feel that it's okay that um, they sign a song on uh, social media or should they don't do that? I Well, I've seen a few that are very well done. Um, for me, I feel like it's okay um, if it's just for their, like, their self-expression. Not to use to teach, but for their personal expression, that's fine, as long as they've learned from a deaf person. But, I mean, learning from a deaf person is obviously the best. Agreed. Yeah. We need more deaf people on social media, you know, teaching sign or whatever, you know, expressing the language. Yes, right. So that people are influenced appropriately. 